guys and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and in this video I'm going to be talking about why you should not get pets from a pet store. Before we get into the video please like and subscribe and yeah before I got this new shirt for Christmas let me know what you think and I also got this really cute necklace. I really like it but yeah now we can get started. So I actually have gotten pets from the pet store and i i don't like getting it but it's so much easier to get pets there because they have them on display you can walk into almost any pet store and they'll have pets they'll have fish any really small animals i know only some pet stores actually do have birds but you'll find geckos you'll find guinea pigs you'll find hamsters all those animals so yes, I did get Cheeky from a pet store. I've gotten all my fish and snails from a pet store and uh, Mr. Gecko, I did not get him. I don't know what the family did before. Um, I think they might have gotten from a pet store. So obviously I have and before then I didn't do research of why I shouldn't get pets from a pet store. But Bear was a rescue. I did rescue him. I laid my foot down and I said, no, I'm not going to helping, I'm not going to be helping pet stores anymore with buying animals. Now, fish, I might still do it until all of these pass. <laughs> um, and then I'll get new ones and I will start a new tank of animals that will only be rescued. Mr. Gecko, when he goes, I hate, I hate thinking about this. I don't know if I'll get another one. I really hope I will. That way I can, I already have the stuff and I want to try to restart on a new one. Um, I love Mr. Gecko, but in my other video that I made about taming, um, I'm starting to do those things because I feel like I'm not as close as I could be with him because I didn't start off with him. But anyway, this has nothing to do with our video, so let's go back. So the first thing pet stores do is they don't take care of their animals. They have all of their hamsters in small little glass cages. There's like six in them. They have usually like the little salad, salad. They have like the little wheels, not the good ones. They're always too small. They have one little hide. Maybe if you're lucky, a chew toy, but there's barely anything in there, especially that they house five to six hamsters together. With fish, they pack the tanks full, at least that's at my local Petco, um, but they really do not take good care of their animals. Guinea pigs, there is no shavings, there's poop everywhere, and there's like three in a larger cage, but they're bigger than hamsters. So, all these animals come from a really horrible place called Hamster Mills, that is the one I know of, but they all come from mills of some sort, and... I'll use hamster mills from an example because that's the one I know most about. They breed and breed and breed these hamsters over and over again. And there is like 80 hamsters and like probably over that in a tiny little thing. They get water and maybe food. That is it. I don't think they even have bedding. There's no chew toys. There's not a wheel. And there's like 80 of them in a small compartment. Here's some pictures. This is horrible. I don't know why people even want to do this. Of course, large pet stores don't care about the actual animals. That's why they sell critter trail cages and horrible toys and treats for your pets because they don't care. They just want the money for unexperienced people to buy because that's all they care about. A few pet stores that I know Choice Pet does not sell any animals. I think the two I've been to don't sell any. They only sell products for the pets. And the two I've been to actually do a pretty good job with it. They actually have really good wooden chew toys for hamsters. They only have good bedding. There's no pine. But if you go to Petco or PetSmart, you'll see the critter trail cages with sometimes pine shavings, a bunch of like plastic toys. They just don't care. So that's kind of the... The way they do it, I feel like I'm getting very off topic, but the way that they get all of those animals in the pet store is from breeding from mills. Mills are disgusting and I hate it. They get large shipments of hamsters that just come in and they plop them in the cages and they don't care. They could have health issues, like say a mom has health issues and they breed with other hamsters. 
of course, all those hamsters are going to get health issues. So they don't care. They bring them into the pet store and you basically have a lot of sick hamsters that Petco or PetSmart is selling, which is just horrible. I'm only taking hamsters for an example, but they can do this with anything. I probably have to do more research on fish. I think they do about the same thing, um, but I'm not positive. I know definitely for hamsters because I've seen many videos and pictures about this it's really just bad so if you stop getting pets from petco or petsmart or i think maybe pets at home i don't have a pets at home near me um those are the two that i have near me that i do go to to get ingre ingredients stuff that i need for my cages but anyway if you stop getting animals from your pet stores then they won't need as many animals and they can stop breeding over and over and over and over again. And then all that can kind of go downhill, which when I'm older, I really want to own a pet store and actually get rescues from people who are trying to get rid of their animals and make a pet store out of those and I can sell them and everybody has to have a whole good, like, everything. I don't know. I don't know exactly. I'm only 12, almost 13. I don't really know yet, but there is a way better option to get animals. Number one is rescue. Rescuing is amazing. You can go online and there's literally thousands of rescues. The ones I got bear from were Paws and Claws, um, which is great. They have thousands of guinea pigs that people do not want so if you are looking for a guinea pig please visit them they do an amazing job i think you have to send a picture every month to see that your cage is still the same because people do lie about this stuff which is stupid um you have to fill out um some paperwork and stuff but it's truly amazing and they really do care about the animals so that is one thing you can do is rescuing um, I rescued Mr. Gecko, not that he was in a horrible situation, I just rescued him because they didn't really want him anymore, and I would take him in perfectly fine. So, that is one way. Another way is if your friends don't want an animal anymore, you have to know how to take care of the animal, though. If you know nothing about hamsters, and your friend has a critter trail with, like, no bedding and stuff, you need to do the research, and you need to take in that hamster or animal but I'm like, this video is horrible. It's really bad because I'm not staying on topic. But what I'm trying to say is that do not get an animal at a pet store unless, actually, unless nothing. I was not very smart and I'm no longer getting animals from pet, pet stores. I'm not saying that you should not buy bedding or stuff for your animals at pet stores. I think that is fine. But I would stay off of buying animals there because they treat them really badly and they're more prone to having diseases and stuff like that that could easily kill your hamster within a few days. So thank you guys for watching. I'm not trying to scare you guys or anything, but hamster mills and mills are really awful and should be put to the end. I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please keep this and if you know anybody who's thinking about getting a pet, just let them know about this video. And hopefully I help somebody make a decision. I love you guys very much and I'll see you in another video. Bye!